To the woman most responsible for my presence here today, my mother, Shamala Gopalan Harris, who is always in our hearts. When she came here from India at the age of 19, she maybe um, didn't quite imagine this moment, but she believed so deeply in an America where a moment like this is possible. She was, in her own right, a trailblazer, a very strong, powerful matriarch. Shamala Gopalan Harris, a breast cancer scientist, was originally from Chennai, India, part of the state of Tamil Nadu. She brought Harris and her sister Maya from the U.S. to Montreal in the 1970s when she took a job teaching at McGill University and doing research at the Jewish General Hospital. People are, you know, people when they, you know, want to achieve something and they, are, they have perseverance and they work hard for it and uh, and uh, that's what uh, her mother, uh, Shyamla Gobalan, did, and, and Kamala Harris continued that path. And uh, to see uh, a person uh, with Tamil ethnicity uh, to occupy the second most powerful position uh, in, in the United States of America. So it's very, very proud moment. Harris, the first female vice president-elect, as well as a person of color, of black and Indian heritage, deeply connected to her roots. I was really, really, really happily touched when I saw that she was wearing a sari in some of her photos because she's very proudly Indian as much as she's very proudly black. I have never in my life seen somebody who looks like me and dresses for occasions <laughs> like me in a North American context on that kind of a stage. For Zita Maharaj, Kamala's path gives her hope in raising her baby daughter Maya, also of Indian and African heritage from Trinidad. It allows for us to see ourselves in places that we otherwise haven't. And also, obviously, for our next generation, for them to not even realize that there is a ceiling. That actually is the more like mind-blowing part, right? She won't know or recognize that it was tough. It was here that Vice President-elect of the United States Kamala Harris spent her formative years graduating in 1981. On Monday, students celebrated Harris's historic election. <laughs> Most people think that you have to live in like a big city in a very famous place to go far, but that's not really true. Anyone from the school could also make it as good as her, and she's a good influence. Seeing her up there inspires me to kind of do what she's doing, you know, maybe get into politics, I don't know. Dream with ambition. Lead with conviction. And see yourselves in a way that others may not, simply because they've never seen it before. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News. You should be able to trust what we say, and that's why we're here today to correct the record. The Winnipeg Regional Health Authority has confirmed for-profit Rivera was not forthcoming over their staffing issues on Friday ahead of a deadly and disturbing outbreak at Maple's personal care home.